Well, by now, we all know that rapid tests are the way forward with the Omicron outbreak, if you can get your hands on them. But it turns out that most of us are doing it wrong. One Melbourne doctor's how-to video has gone viral. In it, he demonstrates how exactly it should be done. And here's a tip. Don't go up. And to give us all a lesson, <laughs> ear, nose and throat surgeon Dr Eric Levi joins us now. Eric, I've done what feels like thousands of these rapid tests over the last couple of months. Have I been doing it wrong? The basic answer is no, you have not been doing it wrong. Well, since the pandemic has only been going on for about 738 days, the fact that you've done a thousand means that you're doing really, really well. <laughs> what I really want to show is a better and a less painful way of doing it, really just to improve the technique so that you get more mucosal sample and less pain. So what prompted you to put out this video now? Well... I'm a booger doctor, so <laughs> digging noses is my day-to-day -day work. But I realise that a lot of my friends and patients and colleagues are not comfortable digging their own nose, um, particularly people from the you know, culturally and linguistically diverse or elderly patients who can't read instructions. It's actually quite difficult and challenging. So I thought I'll just do a simple quick video and just like the virus itself, it's gone viral. <laughs> Dr. Eric, you're going to do a demo for us now, I think, and we should stress that you're not using an actual rat kit because they're in such short supply and Susie Yusuf's been hoarding them, apparently. <laughs> um, <laughs> who's done heaps of them other than Susie Yusuf? Uh, Dr. Eric, uh, tell us or show us how it's done. Well, this is going to make a wonderful dinner time viewing, I think. So I've got a simple example of a standard nasal swap. So the two things to remember is that the front of the nose has just got skin that is dry and hairy. That's not the one that we want. And aiming up is going to be quite uncomfortable and painful. So the trick is actually to go low and going slow around the back, the back of your nose, just aiming towards the back of the nose, going low and going slowly, just for about 15 <laughs> seconds, uh, and twirling it around two to three centimeters, and then slowly pulling it out. It is not painful, it is not uncomfortable. As you can see, I can still talk and maybe even have my dinner at the same time. Just, no, I don't do his... dinner with the swap. I want to sneeze, because that's what happens every time I do that. Well, Dr Eric, I was going to ask how much of an issue using the wrong technique is, but depending on how wrong the technique is, we could get into some hot water. <laughs> so I'll just say, how many false negatives are we likely to be talking about here? Well, the basic answer is we don't know. We assume that these tests are done and validated by scientists in a lab. But here we are asking millions of Australians to do this test themselves. So I think um, we don't really have a populational data on how good this testing is, but it is still a good test. So hopefully improving your technique will also improve the experience of doing it and improve the capture rate. So if we're getting rat tests wrong, is there anything else we're doing wrong? I think the onion and the sausage is wrong. So I think the onion has to be on top of the sausages. <laughs> Look, I'm not sure. Um, at what, the end of the day, the sauce? this is, is a... that's controversial where the sauce goes. <laughs> the important thing is to make sure that what falls is the onion, not the sausage. Okay. Now, <laughs> the key thing is that that this is a, a phase of the pandemic that Australia has not met before, and we're utilizing every expert uh, information and every test available and balancing both tests, the gold standard PCR and this rapid antigen test, so that we can get the best information and at the population level, guide our practice and our response. Dr Eric Levi, thank you so much for your wisdom. Go low and slow when it comes to nasal swabs and sausages. Thanks for your time tonight. My pleasure. Thank you.